In another video, I talked about how the rules that we learn in music theory are really derived from existing music and how music was heard at a particular time in music history. And I gave an example of the diminished triad that in root position it sounds very dissonant because the tritone that is in it involves the bass uh, in both the root position and second inversion and um, during the Baroque period and the classical period uh, people did not want to have these strong dissonances so they used this diminished triad in first inversion only. Now when I say only then of course there's no such thing as only there are always exceptions right but primarily they used this chord in, um, in first inversion because it was less dissonant. Now I want to give um, other examples uh, of how we hear specifically with the second inversion triad in both minor triads and major triads. So we have the major triad. When we invert the major triad, it weakens the harmonic appearance of the chord. And when you get to second inversion, the harmonic appearance is almost lost. We can say that uh, the harmonic function is lost uh, and it only depends on the context of how we hear the chord and that's why um, the use of the second inversion triad is very limited uh, in fact there are only five circumstances under which they appear one is we can have um, a passing 6-4 chord. We call a second version triad also 6-4 chord because that is the inversion symbol. 6-4 is the inversion symbol. So we can use it as a passing 6-4 chord, we can use it as a pedal 6-4 chord, we can use it as a cadential 6-4 chord, we can use it as a melodic bass, and in bass arpeggiation. Bass arpeggiation is most common if we have a pattern like this, then at a certain point uh, we have the same triad, the C major triad in this case, in second inversion. Right? Uh, that is very common in classical music, uh, when we in Alberti basses, for example. Um, now, in some genres, the melody is in the bass. And when the melody is in the bass, we need greater flexibilities uh, on how we can create the melody, so occasionally a chord will be in second inversion. But I want to focus on the remaining three possibilities, the passing 6-4, the cadential 6-4, and the pedal 6-4. A passing 6-4 chord is if the bass passes, in stepwise motion, and the one in the middle was a 6-4 chord, a second inversion triad, so I started out with the one chord. This is a 5 chord, a G major triad, in second inversion. And I went back to 1 chord, but this time in first inversion. So 1 chord in root position, 5 chord in second inversion, 1 chord in first inversion. So I created a passing 6-4 chord. Now, if we use the, uh, the 5 chord, the dominant chord, as a uh, as a passing 6-4 chord, we can actually still hear the harmonic function of that 5 chord, of the dominant. We still hear that chord as, as a dominant. It wants to resolve. But if we use other chords, um, uh, for example, 6, 1, 6, 4, 4, in this case, the walking bass was descending at a 6, six chord in root position, Roman 6. A 1 chord in 2nd inversion, that's the passing 6-4 chord, and a 4 chord. Then we don't actually consider the 1 chord as part of the harmonic progression. Uh, it is simply passing. It is a passing harmony that means it is a filler. It just provides more harmonic color. The pedal 6-4 chord uh, is often used, uh, is, is used similarly as a harmonic filler. So we can have in 
this case, one, four, in second inversion, that's the, pa that's the pedal six, four. And then I went to a six chord in first inversion. I could also go back to one chord in root position. Uh, always, uh, I play these progressions in C major. So that means I repeat the bass note three times and the one in the middle is a second inversion triad. And that second inversion triad has lost its harmonic function. Um, and so uh, it, it just uh, functions to fill in the harmony, to provide harmonic color. And the third one, of course, is the cadential 6-4 chord. The cadential 6-4 chord is always, always spelling-wise a one chord, but in terms of harmonic function, a dominant. So if I play a progression, one, six, four, cadential 6-4 chord, I play the notes of a one chord, but in second inversion. That means with the dominant in the bass. So, and then I go to the five, and then I resolve to one. That is called a cadential 6-4 chord. It makes the harmonic ending, the cadence, much stronger. So, in fact, whenever we have uh, a cadential 6-4 chord, um, it provides a stronger harmonic ending. So... Cadential 6-4 chord, 5, 5-7, five, anticipation, 1 chord. So second inversion triad to review in, in, in minor it works just the same um, in minor keys uh, to review second version triads really only exist under five conditions um, one is when uh, the bass is arpeggiated one is when the melody is in the bass and um, the three very common ones in, in many genres is when we have a pedal 6-4 a passing 6-4 and a cadential 6-4.